I'm the CEO of Tag Attitude. My presentation will be in uh, four or five parts. First, I'm going to introduce myself, or whoever, many of you maybe don't know me. Then I'm going to uh, uh, share with you my vision of the evolution of the mobile money market, which is uh, you know, really starting now, and it's exciting to see what's going to happen, at least what we feel as a technology company is going to happen. Then I'm going to more, speak, more specifically speak about uh, retail transactions. I think it's one of the key, the key functions, one of the link that we have to develop in order to have a mobile money scheme working uh, properly. And uh, then I will present you our solution, the way we do it, the way we envision the, 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 the interaction between the phones and the terminals and, uh, and the various actors behind them. And I will conclude fast on uh, uh, what is the impact on financial inclusion. So first of all, uh, mobile money. Mobile money is a, is a complex, let's say, business or, or issue because it hides behind many words. You know, we speak about financial inclusion, but also about, you know, M payment, M wallet, you know, all those kind of things that are in the process of being defined. And behind the mobile money wo word, there are all those different subsets that are included in the scheme that we are speaking about. So when we say mobile money, we actually cover this all the global issue of how a cell phone is going to redesign, re reshape the financial services. And that's what I'm going to investigate with you now. Okay? Uh, as a company, we are a technology company. We're based in France. We've been uh, uh, created uh, something like eight years ago. Uh, we've been in Nigeria before. We had a company here that was representing us. And then uh, we had to slow down because the market was not ready. And this is the year where we come back. And now we have some you know, very important project down here. And we are convinced that the Nigerian market is, is going to, to boom very, very shortly. We are today in more than 20 countries uh, all over the world, but many in Africa. Africa is a, is a key uh, uh, market, a key continent for mobile money, and, and uh, th th there are many reasons, but uh, uh, I'll share that with you maybe later. Briefly, our, our technology and our platform has been awarded in many different conventions, and I'm, I'm not going to take you through that, but it's just to tell you that we are recognized worldwide. Um, what I want to share with you briefly is our, our logic, our history, wh where we come from. I used to be the director of innovation of Gemalto, and Gemalto is a, one of the biggest company in the uh, electronic transaction business. Uh, they manufacture smart cards, and uh, I've been in the smart card business for, for ages. And I'm convinced that the phone is going to reshape uh, electronic transaction and banking systems because the banking systems and the financial business has been shaped around the cards. And I'm convinced that if we all had a card, a, a phone in our pocket in the 60s, we would have never designed the banks the way they exist today or the financial institution the way they exist today. And now that we have phones in every pocket, we need to redesign the way we do financial organizations. And this is the purpose of, of Tag Attitude. We, we have been working on how the technology can really leverage the cell phone infrastructure and the fact that everybody, all of your customers, all the end users have a phone in their pocket and therefore we need to build financial structure, financial architecture and services to leverage the, this, uh, uh, this, uh, the, this new fact. Uh, to do that, uh, as a technology company, we've been partnering with two major actors. One of them is Ingenico, who is suddenly present in this room and they have a booth next, next to ours. Ingenico is the world leader in uh, POS terminals and, and, and electronic transaction at the point of sale. Uh, we, we, we have been working together so that our technology would be available on the uh, Ingenico terminals. And at the same time, we, we are close to, we, we made a strategic partnership also with Sopra Banking Software, which is also known as Delta Banking Software, which is one of the leader in the French, uh, a French company leader in Africa in a banking back office. All I'm saying here is that our technology is not just a technology, it's also supported by major actors and we're going to spread uh, as much as we can uh, based on their, their expertise. Briefly, uh, I already told you what, uh, what is written here, but it is important because uh, I, I wrote and I, I read that uh, this convention is, is, uh, is really focusing, the title of the convention is, is really how to promote financial inclusion. And financial inclusion is, is, a, is a big deal. 
It's a big deal because for us, it's the beginning of a new era for financial services. What we are doing here in this continent and what everybody is doing here in this continent is in fact reinventing the way we deliver financial services and this, this new way is going to be the, the leading way all around the world. And this is why it's so important for all of the major actors to be here and uh, we feel that we're building future uh, in this country. The, the, the issue in, in, in Africa in general is that banking business has been targeting you know, the well-known pyramid with the, the rich people at the top and the poor people at the bottom. The bankers are, are designed to address rich people. Bankers are made for rich people. And obviously this has been balanced, as you know, by microfinance organizations that have been targeting the low end of the pyramid. And what we do as a technology company is that we bring solutions so that the banks or the financial organization can target a, a larger group of people, what I would call the emerging middle class, the people that are in the process of becoming an economical actor in their country, and they need some services. I will go further, of course, later about the, the prime of handling cash. They need some tools, so our platform allows a financial organization to address their need, and at the same time, we work with microfinance organization to, to improve their process so that the interest rest of the loan can decrease and the efficiency of the loans can be better handled using the cell phone and therefore we're improving the facility and the, and the efficiency of the microfinance. So this is the impact of technology. And um, this is really the global view. Now I want to take you to the mobile money market. As I told you, I'm going to share with you our vision of how it is evolving. The mobile money market is a big market. It's going to transform this continent and probably many continents and maybe all of them. And it is starting here in Africa. I'm not going to take you through the M-Pesa success and all the things that you know. But what I can tell you, and I'm sure you share that with me, is that the first step of the mobile money has been done by telecom operators. It is natural to them because mobile money means mobile. And mobiles are controlled by telecom operators. And they have used their infrastructure, their phone, and their success, and their, the, the, the billion of users that they have, in order to deliver two main services. One of, the, one of them is airtime top-up, and the other one is money transfer. They've done a little bit more some, from time to time, but their logic is very far from what I would call financial inclusion. It is more to deliver a, a, you know, an additional service to the existing service. But it is certainly extremely interesting for mobile money because it's the first step of the evolution of the market. What we've foreseen is that the next step is huge. The next step consists of delivering all the services that a financial organization should deliver to the people. And this has to be based on mobile, of course. And our platform is designed to help those financial organizations to use the you know, cell phone infrastructure to deliver all those services. So I'm not going to take you through all of those, don't worry. But I want to focus on one, one that I believe is completely key, and I want to, to, to emphasize that. In, among all those services, there is one service that stands out, which is the retail, the retail transaction. Why do I focus on retail transaction? I'm going to, the rest of my uh, speeches is going to be focusing on that. When you start to tell people that they're going to put money on their phone or to put money in an account that is linked to their phone, if you ask them to use cash in a store and they go to store every day, there is a problem of why would I put money in my account if I need cash to spend my life, to, to spend in my everyday life. And that's why we needed to find a technology, a way, so that the phone can be used to pay in a store. And that's what I'm going to present you now, okay? You know, for me, it's really the missing link. You know, when, you, when I hear about uh, um, mobile money, if I'm told that mobile money that can be spent nowhere, and each time I want to spend money, I need to do cash out, it's just like if mobile money had no value. And for me as a user, the value of mobile money is the ability to spend the money without doing cash out. You know, so, so the main reason for cash out is retail transaction. Of course, there are other reasons. I mean, we want cash. I'm not saying we're going to get rid of cash. But why, you know, as, as, I mean, until we, we, we solve this problem, we, I often hear that cash is our enemy. It's not true. It's cash out our enemy. Because we all can see that the cash-in is done. The cash-in is feasible. It is feasible to put cash on the phone. What is difficult is to keep the cash on the phone. And this is what we're trying to address. Okay? So... 
I'm going to take you through, you know, this idea of, you know, what if cash out didn't, was not needed, you know? When you do cash out, are you really doing money transfer? You, you don't do money transfer. You actually do problem transfer. You transfer the problem from one place to another, but the problem is cash. And therefore, by doing cash out, you do problem transfer. The money transfer in mobile doesn't have a lot of meaning to me if you need to cash out at the exit side, okay? The second thing that I want to line is the payroll and pension and all those, you know, trials to say, I'm going to pay the salary on the phones. If you start to say, I put the salary on the phone, but then I need to cash out in order to spend my money. Suddenly you don't do payroll management. You just become an outsource uh, facility for employers to, 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 to handle cash. And people, instead of getting the cash at the factory, they get the cash or at the farm, they get the cash at, 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 at a the branch or uh, uh, at an agent. And this is not mobile money, because that, this is not financial inclusion. It's, not, it's just an outsourced service. Same thing for uh, remittance. You know, my dream is to make cashless remittance. I send money from the other side of the earth. When it arrives at the place where it should be spent, there is no cash out. The phone is used to pay in the store. This is what we're working on. And I'm, I'm, uh, uh, I'm very much keen of, of saying that uh, if the cash out keeps going, there is, no, there is no real financial inclusion, okay? So now, I want you to imagine, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Here we go. I want you to imagine a service. Imagine a service where the, there is no need for cash out, where you put the, the money on the phone and there is a way for the people to spend that money without getting cash anymore. I want you to imagine that the point of sales are in equipped with some tools. So it could be a feature phone, a smartphone, a POS terminal, whatever, maybe a web page, whatever, that is capable of signing or securing a transaction so that there is no need for cash in the store and my phone can be used to pay. I invite you to imagine that all the terminals that are out there become not only compatible with a phone, but also with any scheme that has put money on that phone, any wallet that has been linked to that phone. And this is what we have been doing at our company. We have been trying to figure out a technology that could be by nature interoperable and by nature capable of managing transactions, whatever the cashing was made, whatever way the cashing was made, okay? So for us, when we start to say that, when you install the technology that we call TACPAY, which is our platform, the person that installs that technology in the country can immediately target the millions of phones all over the country, whatever they are, whatever SIM card they have, whatever software they have, because it's independent from all that world, and they can make transactions at the point of sale, and all the different normal, classic uh, um, financial services that those people deserve. Now, I'm not going to take you through that because this is a mess. It's, it's our platform, it's full of technology and things and functions, and this is not the goal. What I want to tell you is one thing, only one thing. Look at the top here. The top is multi-channel, meaning our platforms are designed to have, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 different ways to pay with your phone, to keep the cash in, not to do the cash out. And I'm going to take you through very briefly the, the idea that we have and the, the technology that we provide and that we have launched in all those countries. The trick is that the, se the market is extremely segmented. You cannot tell to a retailer, you need to buy a terminal for one, $300, $400 or whatever, depend, uh, w whatever retailer you are. We have designed a complete segmented package or, or let's say a range of product that are made to address different types of retailers. From the feature phones, the simple feature phone, a web page, a smartphone and a very sophisticated uh, EMV type, of course, for, the, for whenever the cards is available, and uh, we are also compatible with all the ATMs. So the way we under that is that we've designed a technology, and that's what I want to share with you, and then I'm, I'm, I'm gone, I'm done. It's, it's called NSDT. We've, work, we've been working on what is common to every phone, what is the most interoperable technology that belongs to every phone, and our solution is the following. What we have done is that we have designed, we're thinking about how can we transform this feature phone into a terminal? And how can we transform this other feature phone into a payment tool? And this is real on the field. How does we do? How do we do for this retailer who owns that to accept a transaction from this phone, you know, who has nothing special but the you know, classic small, small transaction, a small uh, uh, feature for feature phones? What we do is that we've linked 
the phone number to an account number. And this is rather classic. You know, now it's absolutely common. But listen, I just want you to share that with me. Look. You cannot hear. I'm going to do it again. Hold on. I'm going to try. I don't know if you heard. What we've done is that we have identified the microphone as being the most, the smallest common denominator of every phone, whatever scheme, whatever telecom operator. And we use the microphone of the consumer's phone as an antenna to capture contactless transaction data that is sent by the phone or by the tool of the retailer. Therefore, the retailer has that, the, the customer has that, and the retailer in our process is going to play a little music, let's, uh, let's call it this way. Inside that music, there is embedded some, so an electronic transaction feature uh, data, secure data, encrypted data, and it's going to be heard, it's going to play in the air, a few centimeters away, the microphone is going to capture it and sign the transactions. By doing that, it's exactly if I was telling you that every SIM card in the world become contactless card. Because in order to send this noise, you need the SIM card of the, of the retailer's phone. And in order to understand and to, of course, listen to this noise, you need the SIM card of the, of the end user. And therefore, every, you can say as a financial organization that every phone of your country are contactless and they can do contactless transactions. So of course, this is the technology. Now the architecture itself is more complex. And of course, I invite you on my booth to, to see what, what the, the way it works. But we have designed, I would say, a, a cloud-based or server-based technology that is going to do the following. At a given point of time, it is going to call this phone and it's going to send to this phone the electronic signature that we need to do. And it's going to make a loop. Look at the loop. The loop, in fact, is a, is a loop that is going to share in the air a few centimeters this, this extremely important information with this electronic transaction information. And by doing that, this is anywhere in the world. These pipes are you know, worldwide. It's called DSM network. And those are just two phones that speak to each other, just like when you speak to your mother. It's the same principle. It's the same feature that are activated. But they share something extremely important, which is a signature that was designed specifically for a bank in our server. So I don't know if you, if, if you see the consequences of that. But the consequence is that you can do mobile money transaction without having to deal with telecom operators, without having to modify the phones, without having to download any software on the phones, and without having to change the hardware, of course. So I don't know if it would work. I have a very small movie, and there is no, no sound, so I'll play, I'll play the music for you. So here it's where in Tanzania. There is a terminal here. You can see it well. The merchant entered the amount. The, the customer enters his phone number and his secret code for his, uh, for his wallet. Then the phone rings. He brings the phone to the, to the terminal, and the terminal prints a receipt. And that transaction has been done with a stupid, regular feature phone. There is nothing special there. So the, the, the scalability is huge. You can do viral financial inclusion, et cetera, et cetera, as you can imagine. OK? So now. Um, I said that already, but I want to emphasize that. Every phone has a microphone. If it's not a microphone compatible, it's not a phone. Therefore, you can, you can bet on the fact that it's possible with a system like that to become technically interoperable. I'm not speaking about business there. Of course, there is, th that's the last line. Interoperability is not a technology issue anymore. It's more a business issue. Now you need to, to work with each other. But the idea of saying one terminal can, address, can receive transactions for different schemes is completely feasible technically. Okay, and of course, the sound-based terminals are, 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 I would say, any device that can play a sound, and uh, you will look around you, many devices can play a sound. By the way, a web page can play a sound. Therefore, you can sign tr transactions with your phones just by bringing your phone close to the screen of your web e-commerce page, and, and, and that, will, that is going to, to uh, debit your account and credit the, the retail account, okay? So, I want to finish now. Um, I'm convinced that if, you keep, if we keep developing mobile money with cash out possibilities, or let's say we have to have the options, of course, but when it has to be mandatory to spend uh, in, in a store, we are, not, we are missing the promotion of financial inclusion. And uh, Emmanuel, who invited me here today, uh, had, had named the, the, the name of this session is called Promote Financial Inclusion. For us, it is a key, a key feature, a key function uh, that, that has to be addressed, and that's what we do 
uh, in our booth. So thank you for your attention. I want to invite you to come to, for whoever didn't come yet, to come to, to, to so that I can make demonstration. I could even use your phone to make the transaction because I, I don't mind. I'm sure your phone has a microphone. And thank you very much for your, for your attention.